Aloha, I'm Melly James, host of Let's Mana Up. This show is meant to dive into stories of local product entrepreneurs and how they're growing their companies from right here in Hawaii. My guest today is Rona Yim, co-founder of Body Mint, based on Oahu. Welcome to the show, Rona. Hi, Melly. Thank you for inviting us. Of course. Why don't you um, start off by like telling us, you know, how did you get started? Well, I guess um, you know, I was. We were. This was over 20 years ago. This was back in 1997, and uh, a girlfriend of mine that I went to graduate school with had uh, told me that she was going to go and work um, uh, for the state so she could get medical <laughs> coverage. And I said, "Oh, do you want to work for the state?" She said, "No, not really." And I said, "Well, I said, well, I'm going to start a company." And she said, "Really? What in?" And I said, "Well, I have this list of stuff that I." You know, entrepreneurs just, I write stuff down, like, all the time. And one of them was Body Mint, but I didn't have the name for it. It was just, like, a pill that helps you to smell good, right? Um, so, wait, so you just had these random thoughts random about, like, crazy it, ideas. I wish there was a pill to help you yeah, smell good. Yeah. Did you have any other ones that you can share? Uh, yeah, I had create, uh, before all of these wristbands everyone had, I had this wristband idea that I was going to color code for... Uh, single and you know whatever kind of sexual preference or what kind of or you know like you know uh, you know in on the market or what, you know just fun stuff like that so that stuff people, that was very relevant for you at that time it was just silly stuff yeah. right uh, just crazy ideas of uh, books I had books of ideas for for kids that were um, you know that had uh, um, um, you know I don't like learning disabilities mm -hmm. handicaps because they were at that time just starting to, this was a long time ago, right, um, um, integrate them into public schools and things. So it was just a it's Just all crazy, these ideas, you write them yes. down on this book. Yes, okay. that I have a really sensitive nose. And it always, I was always wondering, like, why is there no solution to, to body odor? Why is there no solution to this? It's always, everything's a cover-up. You know, everything's mm -hmm. a... Uh, put it, you know, uh, 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 underarm deodorants or sprays or, you know, foot pads that soak up boots, I mean, uh, smells. But basically, I guess I wanted to invent a pill that was a solution for that. Or a and natural a solution thing. for like all of your body yes. types of odors. Yes, not okay. just your underarms, but your breath, also your feet. Just so, so like just how a breath mint would be for your breath. It was a body mint for your whole body, and and um and it and we finally did it after three years though. It, it was a three year uh, uh, challenge for us. We had nine different formulations that we worked on, um, and really it was my partner and I. Um, so Eddie Onoy, Claire uh, Tanoy at the time, um, who was really involved then, but she's um you know just kind of on a hiatus right now. But my we're still all partners. Um, but Eddie would take it because he'd go to a lot of dinner parties, like every night. Mm -hmm. And then he would say, hey, want to try this new uh, thing we're working on? And so really it was uh, the ninth formula was the lucky one. And it was like everyone, hands down, all the ladies, all his friends were like, this is it. This works so great. So that's what we went with. So, so the formulations that didn't work. People were like, no, this isn't, like, it didn't yeah. really help me. I mean, there were some that were okay, yeah. you know, and some that were not good at all. And then the ones that were okay, but it wasn't good enough for us. I mean, we wanted, we felt that it was something so different, and it had to work. I mean, it really, people had to be able to tell a difference. And with body mint, you can actually tell in two to four days. And that's really quick, we feel, yeah. that you could, you know, really, um, you know, subjectively say, like, wow, this, this works, you know. And yeah. it works like full body. So full you body. were saying most people start taking it because of breath. Well, no. I think people, people, a lot, the majority of people who purchase body mint buy it for breath. Mm -hmm. um, I think a lot of people do buy it for uh, an alternative natural underarm deodorant. Um, it works great for that too. Um, but I, I think maybe it's because people are much more willing to admit to taking things for breath mm -hmm. versus people admitting to, oh, yes, I need that for my underarms. But, you know, there's only 2% in the entire population is scientific. Only 2% of the entire population have under, you know, underarms that do not smell. 
So it's 98% of people have underarms that do smell. And it's not a big deal. It's just natural. It's, um, it's, your, it's your glands that excrete, you know, um, sweat. And when it hits with bacteria, which is on everyone's skin, under the armpit, that particular type of sweat from those sweat glands under your arms, it just has this very sulfurish odor that is very strong. Um, and I think people tend to not want to ad, uh, admit to that, but that's what a lot of people worry about a lot. Mm-hmm. But breath is easy because, you know, everyone goes around, I want an Altoid, would you like a breath mint? Oh, like, I need to do this. Or I garlic for blood. Yeah, I need and, to... oh my gosh, and you know, oh my goodness, excuse me, I'm not going to hug you today because I just had onions, you know. It, it's much more acceptable, but with, mm-hmm. with the other thing, it's not. So I think it's, it's not that it works better for breath or anything. It's just I think people are willing to talk about it and yeah. to it. <laughs> So you say it even works for like toe jams. Yes, toe jams. But if you already have the jam in the shoe, it <laughs> can't get rid of the jam in the shoe. It's yeah. got to be like a fresh set of shoes. Yeah. So and... go on body mint for like, we say a month. Okay. You know, I mean, really you can tell in two to four days, but it's, you know, you got to have buy a whole, you know, spend the money to buy a whole new shoe. You know, be on it a month and then go and buy a new, you know, uh, tennis shoes, new um, uh, whatever, you know. Uh, usually it's Low the clothes first. shoes that people... Okay have more smells with people flip-flops generally people can because your foot kind of airs out you know and um but yeah buy a new shoe and you'll see a huge difference okay yeah. so you came up with this idea you started working with a team doing concoctions of different like ingredients and recipes and formulas you're on your ninth version and eddie's going to dinner parties <laughs> testing it out on on, vic- on different victims, not victims, yes. but different uh, test guinea yes. pigs. Yes. And you finally come up with the perfect pill and uh, recipe. Yes. Then what happened? So um, uh, we basically said, okay, this is it. This is the winning green formula. And we wanted to make sure that it was, you know, a very healthy thing. That was also, we were kind of a little bit before you're ahead of our time, which is not necessarily a good thing when you're in a retail product. It, but you know, I think back then people weren't as health conscious as today. Like today, it's like a no-brainer. Everything's got to be green, plant-based. Luckily, we are plant-based, and luckily, we're very green. And we have a lot of antioxidants, a lot of detox uh, qu- um, qualities to the ingredients. So basically, what we did was we said, okay, let's go to market. We had biochemists on the mainland. That Our manufacturers are in Orange County. We basically decided to find a name. <laughs> and then... And the Body Mint name, we got friends together, focus groups, because we couldn't really like, afford to, you know, pay ten, twenty thousand dollars for a, a professional focus group. So we just got people from all walks of life in our own, you know, friend groups and um, families, and got them all in a huge room. And we started. We I, I had a whole list of different names, and uh, oddly enough, the Body Mint name I thought of only the night before the. <laughs> the 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 me I was just bothering me. I don't have the right name. I don't have the right name, and I kept thinking, and it just the name just popped in my head. So that went on the list, and then when we we had food for people, you know, mm-hmm. this like kind of just for group, fun, yeah. yeah. And um, when we threw that name out, everyone's like, "Are you kidding me? That's the one!" And it was just it was like just the majority of everyone. It was all, probably about ninety nine percent of people. That's, That's it. Awesome. So that was the name, and okay. then. You put from there you the started, label. put that on the label. Ran production. Well, ran production, hoping that somebody would buy it. Back then, the internet wasn't big either. <laughs> so it's like you, we had to go sell it into so when is back to, then? to long give me a drug date range. This was uh, April of 2000. Okay. Yeah. Almost so 20 years ago. Almost 20 years ago, exactly. Yeah. So it was three years of R&D before that, 1997. And uh, then... Uh, we went to market in April of 2000. Okay. And when we went to market, we had to literally go to the buyers at Long's who allowed us to go to, they have these like Long's buying shows. And so we got like a little corner of a table and we set up our little body man. We didn't have any kind of, you know, POP or any kind of, you know, being, you know, back then, I don't even know if you could do that, but you just didn't have, like, you couldn't just order up a sign in, like, two days, you know, Mm -hmm. and so we went to this show, and the buyer said, if you sell 25 of those, okay, I will put you in the store, but it's going to be store to store, buyer decides, and so we thought, okay, and we thought, well, 25, that can't be that hard, okay, but evidently, it's not that easy to sell something no one knows about. I mean, people won't actually fork up the money. 
And we sold a hundred and I think it was 108 bottles. And he was like, what? You sold 108 bottles? Okay, I'll put you in the store. But, you know, it's up to each buyer. So only four Long's buyers actually. That was your first account? Long's. Yes, Long's. Okay. Long's Drugs in Hawaii. And so only four Long's Drugs in Hawaii actually picked us up. We only sold four cases of 12 each. We're like, oh boy, what are we going to do with all this? And then we were, we had in the stores, um, and we were really lucky. Someone at the, it was, uh, what is that, Midweek, mm -hmm. did a story on us about how we invented this thing. And, and in like one week, I think there were like, thousands of people going in and saying, I read about this. I want to know what this is. Uh, where is it? And so then the, all the other longs had to bring it in. So we were really fortunate. Yeah. I mean, yeah. That's so awesome. grateful to Midweek. So that was the first, like, fortunate event that happened with Midweek. You got into all the longs. Yes. Um, and then I know that you guys got some national um, yes. like recognition. So yes. how did that all happen? Okay, so that, well, it actually <laughs> So we, you know, we're still trying to get distribution like Walmart here, which we eventually did. We're in Walmart. We're in a bunch of stores locally. Um, but just, it was, le it was in uh, February, I think, of 2002. So less than two years later, we had uh, only distribution in Fred Siegel. It was, at that time, it was only on Sunset Boulevard, uh, which is a small boutique, um, kind of like a, kind of a hip store, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, and then... Henri Bendel on Fifth Avenue in New York City, which really was kind of a high-end store. Um, gosh, I can't afford anything in there, but it was like, we just the buyer thought it was a great idea, and when he heard it was in Fred Siegel, he said, I'll bring it in. Mm -hmm. And so it was really like on both sides of the, uh, of the, of the continent, and uh, that was it. To, and then Jeannie Moost of CNN <laughs> calls one day, we thought it was a prank call. Oh, Rona, CNN's on the phone. I'm like, yeah, right, you know. But it, it was actually Jeannie Moost. And she said, hey, I have this midweek article that is pretty old. And I was reading it. And I, it was someone from Hawaii just sort of handed it to me. I think this is a great thing. Is it real? You know, are you selling it? Do people like it? Does it work? And I said, yes, 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 yes. So we, she said, send me samples. So we sent it up there. And I guess she tested it on a bunch of people there and felt that it was a viable, real product that worked. So when she did the spot, and you know, most so of you weren't on the spot. She just no, we were about actually it. Okay. on the spot. It was a long spot. It was she. I guess we filmed through one of the TV stations here. She asked questions. She really went out and did because she usually does really funny spots, usually humorous and you know, kind of fun. And she actually passed out body mint to people on the streets of New York. She went to Henry Bendel where they were selling it and interviewed the sales lady. And the sales lady says, like, gosh, we have people coming and asking for, you know, like the discount, you know, large size mm -hmm. uh, or, you know, the ones that last forever. And because they were buying every month, coming back and buying every month. And, and so basically she passed it out on the street to people at Henry Bendel, uh, people at, um, you know, like dentists on the street, mm -hmm. people that she just saw and were asked to come back. Yeah, we're yeah. asked to come back in a few days and report in. Okay. And all of them reported that it worked for them. Love so it. she did that. So, all okay, on. that is, that's incredible. So I'd love to show some of our audience here okay. some of the images of what we're talking about here. All right. So okay. um, I know the first image we've got here is of the bottles. And okay, oh, so this one here is just kind a of fun, a funny, like. Just to get the idea across. Yeah, like yeah. somebody stinks. Yes. Let's take some yes. pills over this. So this is our. This is our new box that we have um, re redesigned and hopefully is much more appealing. Yes, and I'm, modern. I'm looking forward to speaking about that after the break to hear okay. more about your, your rebrand. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, okay, so you were on CNN, you had this national recognition, and then things just really started blowing up. Um, and just from a company that's from right here in Hawaii, which is really exciting, and I'm excited to talk more about that okay. after our break. Okay. All right. All right. Great. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Aloha. I'm Catherine Knorr, and I'm the host of Much More on Medicine on Think Tech Hawaii. We talk about medical issues, and I interview guests regarding medical matters. And I'm really excited about upcoming guests. I hope you join us every other Wednesday at 3 p.m. Aloha, and see you then. Aloha. I'm Marcia Joyner inviting you to join us 
on Wednesdays at 1 o'clock for Cannabis Chronicles, the 10,000 year odyssey where we take a look at cannabis as food, cannabis as medicine, cannabis and religion, and cannabis and dear old Uncle Sam. So please join us to learn all about cannabis. Again, Wednesdays at 1 o'clock. Thank you. Welcome back. I'm Melly James, host of Let's Mana Up. We have co-founder Rona Yim from Body Mint, based here on Oahu. Welcome back, Rona. Thank you so much. Yeah, this is going to be, this is fun. So we were talking about getting on CNN and then things just like totally exploding. So I know you've got some images around like what happened there. So yes. Yeah, so what happened? Yeah, we were on CNN. We got into all, uh, then all the magazines came to us after CNN, you know, was 17, Men's Journal, you know, the New York Post, uh, the LA Times, you know, we were, they were writing all about us, but the that part was we had no real distribution. So at the time, the internet, what, you know, because this is 20 years ago, is not what it is today, but our internet sales did just really take off. I mean, uh, you know, it was hu huge because they couldn't find it any other way yeah. mm -hmm. at the time. So it was a little bit too early. So we're, you know, timing wasn't the best, but we didn't but you were just it. like the small company here in Hawaii getting this yes. national publications. Yes. yes. Internet, not as where it is today, but yes. that's starting to increase. So, so you know, that was kind of big like 20, 15, 20 years ago. Uh -huh. And I know that you guys have kind of done a rebrand, kind of looking at, all right, there was this generation that all knew about body mint. Yes. And then now it's been 15 years, and now we've got kind of this next generation of millennials, Gen Z. And I feel like nowadays people are a lot even more open about talking about body odor. Yes. Do you, think, do you feel that way as well? And yes. I'd love for us to show some of the images of the new packaging okay so yes. everybody can see what we're talking about okay. but go ahead yes i absolutely agree and i think that's why with you know mana up and everyone we just said okay yeah we're gonna just change our packaging rebrand you know keep the name because all of the people who've been taking body mint for the last 20 years are now like some of them are in their 60s mm -hmm. right if they started at 40 or they're in their 40s and the 20 year olds don't know about it so uh, over the last, 20, actually for 20 years, we have been a top 10 selling SKU at CVS Hawaii. So we thought, okay, I would ask some young person that I'd met, do you know about body men? They'd be like, no, what's that? So yes, we decided to rebrand and relaunch okay. to find a whole new generation. So you, these users. are some of the air places you can be found now? Yes. Uh -huh. okay. um, the Whole Foods, actually we got, uh, we are going to get in locally. Um, and that was thankfully through your wonderful uh, help with Mana Up. Um, but uh, we are in select Whole Foods on, on the mainland right now. Awesome. But um, yeah, we're in Walmart here, Don Quixote, you know, we're in all the, in the commissaries and CVS, of course. Are, yeah. So let's take a look at some of the closer products that so people okay. can see the new packaging. So, so you've changed this to, to really try to target the next generation, the people that had no idea, maybe weren't even born yet. Yes when Body Mint was at its like heyday when it first launched. Absolutely. Okay. Yes. And they are, you know, the health conscious young people of today, um, sports minded, uh, you know, people are dressed much more casually, I think, but there's a lot of people who are very active. I think mm -hmm. just be, with the health craze and how people eat healthily, whatever they want to put on their bodies needs to be healthy. That's why, you know, Body Mint, but they also are, they exercise a lot. They're, they play sports, they're outside, they, and so they sweat, you know. So it's, yeah, all yeah. together a great generation to, to target, yes. And also there is that connection to Hawaii because, yeah. you know, we're running around. It's hot here. We're on the beach. You're not going to, like, go in the bushes yeah. and put your deodorant on <laughs> yeah. so no one sees you. Like, right. it's just kind of nice if you just naturally don't need to be putting deodorant on all day. Yeah, I think that, that was the whole sort of idea is not to have to worry all day long. You know, this is something you take in the morning and then you take another one in the evening and that's it. Mm -hmm. And then you kind of just do your thing. Um, I think also in Hawaii, everyone takes their shoes off when they go in the home. So the toe jam part is a natural. Um, the tropical year-round weather, it's a natural. Yeah. So 
So what's coming up next for you guys? Like, I know, obviously, you guys just graduated from Mana Up, Coma 4. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Yes. Um, well, we're really excited because um, I think Mana Up's done a lot of with us on the internet, you know, and how the opportunities are so great there. Um, you know, Shopify and all of that. So we definitely are going to be um, focusing instead of on retail, you know, well, we do still want retail, but really going to focus a lot on internet sales. Um, we are changing our yeah. whole website. Mm -hmm. um, we also are um, excited about more of the health, uh, the health stores, so more of the Whole Foods, you know, maybe the down-to-earth of the world, things like that. So yeah. kind of speaking around the health piece, I, it was really interesting for me because it was so focused on odors. But there's all these other health benefits because it's like a detoxant. Yes. So yes. What, can you just quickly list off a couple of the yes. other awesome side benefits? Okay, yeah, we actually are coming out with new SKUs, but they all will have the original body mint formula in it. But we just wanted to educate people that there are, and we added even more antioxidants or even more detoxifying types of plant-based products into, into the new SKUs. So um, basically, body mint and the new SKUs, which is one is called daily salad, that's going to have just like power antioxidants. So you get the body mint um, uh, benefit of smelling good. At the same time, you get added, added antioxidants. Yeah, body mint has great antioxidants, it's the plant ingredients in it, um, and also a lot of detox, which helps liver cleansing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I know you've been in business for, you know, quite some time here in Hawaii. <laughs> you have a couple other different companies. Can you share a little bit around what have been some of the challenges um, with being an entrepreneur here in the islands and you know, any, also any kind of advice you may have? So maybe we'll start off with challenges and how you've kind okay. of gotten through them. Challenges for sure. I think, well, one, I think, you know, Hawaii is a, a wonderful business environment to do business because people are just so helpful and caring and everyone sort of wants to help each other and, and, and help each other, boost each other. But what we find very, very challenging is because we're way out here in, you know, the farthest place ever from every, anyone, we're out in the Pacific, it's very difficult to do a lot of business on the mainland because our families are here. Our corporate offices are here. So we depend a lot on, you know, finding brokers, distributors on the mainland. Um, and that can be really difficult. The culture is very different. And also the, the, the business environment is very different. It's very, very hard to find, which is why Mana Up is wonderful, because it's hard to, what I feel is the hardest to do is to find people on the mainland that can take the products that, that have been successful in Hawaii and duplicate that on the mainland because to find the same uh, relationships are so different. And, and, and you, you know, you, a referral is so different than getting a referral in Hawaii. It's like you cannot be a bad person or a dishonest person and survive in the Hawaii environment because everyone knows everyone. Mm -hmm. But on the mainland, you know, really, there's just so many people. There's just a whole cottage industry, I think, of people who just move from one client to the next, not necessarily doing a good job, but they can because they can just, like, you know, nobody really knows who they are. They, yeah, it's like yeah. the anonymity. Yeah. yeah. And you that, burn that's a bridge or just on to the next yeah, thing. Yeah, they're just yeah. on to the next thing. And I think that that is um, a huge challenge for people from Hawaii. And we're also, you know, very, um, well, I, 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 should, I don't want to generalize, but I was very trusting. You know, so in the beginning, it was like, oh, what? You know Oprah? Oh, my goodness, right? Well, then I learned every PR company knows Oprah, and you're <laughs> paying these people, you know. So, yeah, it's pretty, it's, it's kind of, uh, it's, 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 yeah, that's, that's what I felt was the biggest challenge. Mm -hmm. And kind of like well, through Mana Up, but also just having this great network of other local companies where you can kind of bounce ideas off each other. Yeah. Who, what what uh, vendors have you worked with or service providers that were great or not so great? It is kind of helpful as you continue to grow. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I think um, you know, really, we've worked with everyone that everyone here has been great. Um, we originally went with Webco, which is the largest distributor of most uh, consumer goods in Hawaii. Um, most of their stuff in Longs is theirs. Um, they were wonderful, um, uh, and we they you know got as far for the first um, I would say eight years maybe, and then we just 
It was just something that we decided to do, mostly uh, looking for a little smaller boutique type distributor. Um, and we like that. And it's not for everyone. I think people, some people just love big distributors. There's much more people there, helpful. Um, I think we just like the boutique one because we could move a little quicker. We could say, okay, we're going to do this promotion. We need this POP up today, you know, or tomorrow. Yeah. And then it would just, it would, it would get done. And it's hard when, um, you know, there's just people who have, you know, like a lot of other obligations. Yeah. Yeah. So what, what, what kind of advice would you give entrepreneurs that are here in Hawaii and, you know, building up their businesses, whether it's product or, or other, any kind of You know, advice? I think it's a, like I said, a fabulous business environment. Uh, I think there's people like you and um, the, uh, the willingness to really want to see people succeed. Um, we're just like all fit one big ohana. I think I love that. I think um, I think it and and there's a, you know we have the top Costco in the nation, right? We have the top. I mean, Long's Drugs. Well, from what I understood, the whole chain of Long's Drugs did better than all the Long's Drugs on the whole West Coast, like 450 of them, right? And so. Just the Hawaii longs do, do more business than that. Mm -hmm. So I think that the climate here is great for success. I think um, the word of mouth, uh, the help that family and friends, the whole Ohana will, will talk about your product. I think that is a huge help. Yeah, like a yeah. great place to start. Such a great yeah. place to start and, and so, then expand And from then there. expand. And so now that yes. you guys have gone to national, now you're doing this rebrand really to start connecting with yes. the next generation. Yes. You know, what are some of the key messages that you're now having be forward facing? Because a lot of it is direct to consumer. It's on social. Yeah. Like, what are those? Some of those key messages now. So, our, what are key messages for body mint, especially, you know, hopefully to the younger generation, is is basically if you want um, something that really is a solution, that really can help your confidence, can really help you not have to even deal anymore with, uh, you know, um, chemicals, harsh chemicals, uh, irritated skin sometimes, um, messing up your clothes, you know, um, having sticky feet from, you know, just like little pads that you put in there, um, uh, worrying about, don't, not worrying when you had onions or garlic for, for lunch. Um, mm -hmm. Really, we're looking yeah. for the, health, the person that is... Um, health-minded and wants a solution for your whole entire body. And I think that's awesome. And I want thank to thank you. you for being on our show today, Rona. Thank you. Thank body you Mint. so Is much. Bodymint.com. It's, um, yeah, we are, uh, we are for sale on bodymint.com. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Aloha. Thank you, Mally.